Hi everyone. So I um I have some really great things that I'm starting with that I just wanted to talk about today. So the last time I checked, I was at 93 subscribers, which is so amazing. I'm like I'm so overwhelmed with that. I can't believe that I'm almost to 100 subscribers. It's just wow. I I just I'm speechless for that. I don't know what to say. That's so awesome that you guys are actually like willing to subscribe to me and watch my videos. And just thank you so so much. I want to do a special video when I reach 100. I'm just I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet, but I guess we'll find out. Um anyway, the things that I wanted to talk about aside <laughs> from that. So I know I have talked a lot about my blog and getting back on it. I still plan to do that. I have not forgotten. <laughs> it's just been pretty busy. Let me tell you what's been going on. So I I started working at a school as an aide for a for a special needs kid a couple weeks ago and it's so amazing. I love it. However, as someone with SMA, I do, I need to figure out my health insurance. That's a complicated factor. Um, one huge thing for someone with SMA, and so, and like for me, I am SMA type 3. I'm like, I'm, I'm really strong compared to a lot of people with the same type as SMA that I have. Um, I, I have been getting um, Spinraza treatments done at Stanford, but now I don't know. So my only employer option is through Kaiser, but I just, I really, I have had them before. They are not one of my favorites, and from what I understand, is this, it's going to be a huge fight. If I want to continue receiving Spinraza and my insurance is Kaiser. Which leads me to Covered California. I have found one facility close to me that will accept a Covered California plan. And they only accept one Covered California plan. So that's... I need to go talk to someone and really really sit down and try to figure this out because I do not want to select the wrong plan. In order to keep going to Stanford, I can get my own individual um, health plan. However, the least expensive one is almost $400 a month with a $6,000 deductible, which basically means it doesn't cover anything. So... Um, basically, the $6,000 deductible means that I have to pay $6,000 out of pocket before the insurance plan will cover anything, which, by the way, guys, I'm, I just finished my bachelor's degree. I'm paying for my car. I'm actually, I'm still living at my parents' house because I can't afford to move out. I cannot afford $400 a month for a health insurance plan that doesn't pay anything. And get this, the one that does actually start to pay stuff right away is, I believe it was $700 a month. And oh my gosh. Yikes. <laughs> and so I'm just, I'm at like a, a crossroads just trying to figure out all the insurance and all the lingo and everything there. Um, however, so speaking of all of my bills, I do have my, my t-shirt business or I guess more of my design business rather than t-shirt business. And so what I do is I use an app on my phone. I create like designs and then I upload them to a print on a man website. I use TeePublic and Zazzle right now and those are going 
great for me. I'm just starting out. Um, I got business cards a while ago. And it's awesome. I'll post the links in the description. And then also, I just signed up as an independent pet pro with Paw Tree, which is great. I did it when they were having the promotion to sign up for one dollar. One dollar. So, I love my cat. I discovered them a few months ago. I read up on them um, about their paw pairings, pet food seasoning. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. And I think it would be great for my cat. Great for me to um, try and like get myself out there. So we'll see where that goes. And my original thought was that, you know, I'll really only be out a dollar if I'm not successful but I'm really hoping to be successful because I want to be able to pay my bills and move out of my parents house eventually like sooner rather than later would be awesome anyway so that is everything that's going on with me and uh, again thank you all so much for actually watching my videos and subscribing I can't believe that I'm so close to 100 that's just that's amazing to me um, with all of my, with everything that I have going on, um, especially being out of school, what I would like to be trying to do is I would like to be spending, um, 30 minutes to an hour a day. Um, and especially with like my YouTube videos and my blog and my, um, like just anything SMA related, I want to be trying to... I want to try and get my videos up on, um, on probably Sundays and Wednesdays or Saturdays and Wednesdays. We'll see how that goes because my original plan for every day, not working out so well right now just because I have so much other stuff going on and I've been, I've honestly been feeling kind of overwhelmed with everything. It's all great stuff in my life, but... It's, it's a lot. I use my phone for pretty much everything, and so it's, it's always going off, which is, it's great, but at the same time, as someone with SMA, I feel like I need my phone on me at all times in case I do have a situation come up where I do fall and I can't get up, or like I fall down the stairs, or say I'm out in public shopping, and then I trip and break my ankle. I use that specific example because that actually happened to me a couple years ago and luckily I had my phone on me and was able to call someone for help because no one in the parking lot cared to even ask if I was okay that saw me fall. Um, I, I understand that I'm not, <laughs> I'm not saying anything against those people that were there because I completely understand. But that's one of the things is as someone with SMA, I find it very important to keep my phone on me at all times with it charged up so that I can call for help if need be. And then also we had fires here last year and it was pretty scary. Um, a lot of my friends were affected. I mean, I was affected in a way, but not like they were. So just that is another thing for me to consider that makes me want to have my phone on me at all times charged and ready to go. Anyway, so I just wanted to um, to let you guys know where I'm at, what my plans are. And thank you guys so much for watching and so much for your support. I'm, I'm just so, like I said, I'm speechless. I really don't know what to say. I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. Please continue to... Any comments, any questions that you have, I would really like to answer them as best as I can. Again, thank you, and I hope you guys have a great week. See you guys next time.